subscribe to our channel now and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Kim's Global. Hello, I'm Dr. Pramila. I'm heading the Pediatric Emergency and Intensive Care of Kim's Trivandrum. When it comes to accidental poisoning, so the most common things are uh, tablets. So the parents will be taking some medications, grandparents will be on medications, especially oral hypoglycemic drugs for diabetes, antihypertensive medications or psychiatric medications. So these are the medications which, you know, especially the, those sugar coated tablets, kids are very much fond of. These are the tablets are the most common cause of isolated poisoning. Another most common poisoning is ingestion of kerosene. Kerosene now comes in an aqua blue, very tempting color and majority of this is stored in uh, either a Pepsi, Cola or a Mirinda bottle. So what happens is that kids will see this color and this is another cause for accidental poisoning. And these are the most commonest cause of poisons, either any drugs or kerosene or any uh, things like this. So uh, you have this tiger balm, oils and all those things. Anything under the sun, these kids, especially younger age group, they experiment on it. So that is very important. So how will you take care of all this? If you look at the common other things, uh, especially rat poisons, okay. So uh, rat poisons, what uh, we usually do is like at home, we take an Oreo biscuit or some biscuit and we put a cream. And you know, and we put it in some corner. So a child who is crawling and when the child sees the biscuit, child takes an eight. All these are accidental stuff. So we usually use it for rats and then what happens, ultimately the child land up taking it. So you have rat poisons, then paste, then mosquito repellents. Mosquito repellents, because the plug socket is uh, usually the lower part, what happens, they can just open that and they can take the entire thing. Then the gums, glitters, anything under the sun, the children can explore. So it has, you have to be very careful about it. As the saying goes, prevention is always better than cure. This is one thing which we can prevent. This is a preventable cause. So what we have to do is that when you have younger children at home, you have to be very careful locking away all the tablets, especially parents, grandparents. When you are on medications, you have to make sure that these are all locked in cabinets. That's very important. And don't make the kids give you the tablets. Uh, some grandparents have the habit of making the kids take the tablets and give them. So that should be avoided. And tell them initially, these are things not to be taken. This will cause harm. That has to be told to uh, toddlers or little bigger kids. Then what you can do is that kerosene always keep in a separate area where kids, kids have no access. Bathroom cleaners and all this stuff again. These are acids and alkalis. It can cause severe damage. So make sure everything is kept away from children. Always keep the bathroom doors closed because then they won't enter into the toilet and take all this stuff. And all this has to be taken care of very well, especially the tablets, kerosene, any liquids like this. So anything, especially medications, that's another important thing. Paracetamol and other liquid syrups which we give, that prescriptions also. Once the fever is over, lock away the paracetamol somewhere because what we see is that Paracetamol syrup is one major cause where the taste is good, it's very sweet and kids take the entire bottle and come to us and it's a very serious poisoning.